here's how to make a kombucha leather lantern. The materials you're going to need are a bunch of kombucha leather, water or glue for attaching the kombucha pieces together, the folding template which can be found on the GIY Bio Buddies website which is giybiobuddies.weebly.com. You also need scissors, an LED light, a coin cell battery, tape, preferably electric tape, and also other materials you want to use to decorate your lantern with. You're only going to need one circle from the template so you can just cut around um, one of the circles and you can use this to cut out circles from large pieces of kombucha leather and if you're using kombucha leather that has been grown in a petri dish or a mason jar uh, you don't have to cut them since they're already circles but you can if you just want them to all be the same size um, which is what i did once you have six circles of kombucha leather we're going to use the template to make tabs on each of those pieces so that um, we can attach them together um, the lines on the template that make the triangle looking shape are where you're going to fold or mark the kombucha leather circles and those tabs you create are where you're going to attach those pieces, the kombucha leather pieces together. So I ended up tracing and folding all the pieces because it's easier to see and attach them um, than just doing one or the other. Um, so the best way to attach them is to use a small brush to apply um, either water or glue, whichever one you're using, to one tab and then match up that triangle tab lines um, of both circles that you're attaching together. Um, you're going to attach three of the circles together first so that you have like a little tent with three sides or like a three-sided pyramid with an open base. Now you're going to repeat that process with the other three pieces of kombucha leather so that you have two of those pyramid shapes and those are your two halves of your lantern. Um, if you're using water, you might need to add more to make the pieces stick well, um, which you can see me doing a lot since um, I just keep adding until it seems like they are actually staying together. And to do that, you can just brush more onto the outside of the tabs, um, which makes the pieces sticky again, so that when they're dry, they're attached, but don't over apply because this can make them too sticky and hard to work with. Once you have your two halves of the lantern, you might want to let them dry a bit so that they're more securely attached. So right now we can set up the light and one option is to use a normal LED and a coin cell battery. Normal LEDs have two legs, the longer one is positive and the shorter one is negative. And batteries also have charge sides and you can tell just by looking at your coin cell battery. One side should have a little plus on it which is the positive side and the other side is your negative side. You're going to sandwich the battery between the legs so that the positive leg touches the positive side of the battery and the negative leg touches the negative side. The LED should light up and always check that your light and battery are working um, before you use them. If you're just going to use these two you can just place it inside your lantern after you've put the two pieces together just so that the light is sticking inside the lantern. The other option which is what I'm going to do is to use an LED with longer legs and create a circuit. So it's the same type of LED light but the legs have just been extended with wires so there's still a positive and a negative side. To complete the circuit, you're going to touch the exposed metal wire ends of the legs to the opposite sides of the battery, sandwiching it like I did with the normal LED. Try sandwiching the battery in both directions to figure out which leg is positive and which is negative. In this case, the black was positive and the green was negative. This is extra, but if you want to make it easier to complete the circuit and have a makeshift switch, you can twist the wire end of the positive leg to a paper clip, um, which is conductive. Make sure the wire is wrapped pretty tightly and then tape it up so that it's really secure. Make sure it works and the light still turns on and this will let you tape um, the negative end of the wire to the negative side of the battery and so to turn on the light you just tap the paper clip to the positive side. Now attach the two halves together by lining up the openings and sticking the tabs together but leave one side as in one set of tabs unattached. Now stick in your LED light, whether it is on wire or just attached directly to the battery. Now you can close that final set of tabs together with the light inside. You can add more glue or water to the tabs if they aren't sticking together well. Now that you've finished putting together your kombucha lantern, it's time to decorate. Scrap pieces of kombucha leather make great attachments and decorations. We would love for you to share your creations and explorations with hashtag GIYBioBuddies on Instagram. Check out our other biomaterial activities and instructions on the GRY Bio Buddies YouTube channel and on our website.
jawabiobuddies.weebly.com, where you can learn more about biomaterials, activities, resources about the bio buddies, and more. Thanks for watching.